What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about units in Revit. Now if you're having any trouble setting up the units in Revit or the units of certain elements or families, things like that, or if you just have any uncertainties or doubts when it comes to units in Revit, well then this tutorial is for you exactly. In this tutorial I'm going to take the time to explain how units in Revit work, uh, how units in Revit affect different elements and all of the little settings and setups that, uh, well, uh, make your unit uh, headaches in Revit uh, disappear. Okay, before I get into that, just quickly, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials uh, each week. Uh, also, I make some advanced Revit courses, and if you want to check those out, check out the first link in the description. I've got over 50 hours of content where uh, I take the extra time to create these courses they're all over one hour long and they're just in-depth explanations of different important advanced Revit topics so if you're interested in that check it out first link in the description okay without any further ado let's get into the units tutorial and here I am in Revit so let's immediately get started by starting a new project so I'm going to navigate here to models and then go here to new Revit model file which is a new project and for the template, I'm going to just choose the architectural template. We're going to be talking about templates and how they affect units a bit later on. Now, let me just click OK, and then Revit will start up. Now, when it comes to units in Revit, I like to differentiate those in two types. We have the project units, and then also we have family units. Now, project units are something that you can change at any point, and it's something that's easy to change and uh, it's something that you might be changing along during your whole uh, project. So maybe at the start you will be using one, one type of units and then uh, towards the end maybe a different type. Now, uh, family units are something that are, is not going to change over the course of your project, uh, so it's really important to get it right on the first try. So let's get started with the project units first. So here I'm going to go to the wall command, uh, WA is the shortcut, and then let me just draw a simple rectangle here on the screen. Uh, now, uh, as you may notice, and if I just hit the escape key a couple of times just to exit, if I select any of these uh, walls, uh, the little temporary dimension that pops up will hold uh, will hold the 9000 millimeters. So currently this project has been set up to project units which are in millimeters. This also applies if I decide to create a dimension. So here we have the aligned dimension. You can find it here or maybe on the annotate tab we have the aligned dimension. And if I were just to dimension this, again, the dimension will be in millimeters. Now, if I just hit the escape key a couple of times, let's see how can we edit that dimension or that those units. So for any project, if you go here to the Manage tab, uh, we have the project units on the settings panel. So once you open up the project units dialog, uh, it includes uh, disciplines. So currently it's set to common. You can pick po pinpoint the uh, exact uh, discipline if you're maybe uh, dedicated to structural or HVAC. Currently I'm just going to stay with common. Now here we have units and we have uh, many options. So we have a uh, length, area, volume, angle, slope, currency, uh, mass, density, time, and speed. Now, uh, at this point, just because I'm in Europe and we prefer using metric units here, uh, all of these units are by default, uh, in my case, set to metric. Now, in most cases, for the beginning of the project, I tend to set my units to meters, just because I prefer working in meters when it comes to maybe uh, larger uh, projects or just kind of trying to... Uh, basically place elements on screen just to test out the distances, things like that. And then later on towards the end of the project, I would change it to centimeters just to point, uh, just to basically make everything completely accurate. Now for area, it's set to square meters and usually I keep it at that. And then for the rest of these, I uh, can go ahead and change these if you want. Now for all units, you don't only have the option to change the actual unit, you also, also get the uh, option for rounding. So you can add decimal places or you can round it up to the nearest 10 or 100 or 1000. 
Uh, also below we have the option to add a symbol. Now for centimeters you can add that CM symbol if you want, and of course you don't want you don't have to. And you have the option to suppress tailing uh, zeros. So that means if you have maybe two decimal places and the dimension is 1.50, it's not going to show 1.50. It's going to show 1.5. So that's that's what that is. And also digit grouping is just adding those dots uh, after maybe a thousand. So it's one dot uh, three zeros. Anyways, uh, let's just uh, OK out of this, OK out of this. And now, as you can see, the dimension has changed here uh, to millimeters. Uh, now, if I go here to the architecture tab and let's place a door, perhaps uh, if we go here to properties and now we're talking about family units, you'll notice that each of these doors has a uh, has a dimension in millimeters. So even though we have changed the project units to centimeters, the doors still stick to millimeters. Now, this isn't quite of a problem, but what if you decide to uh, switch to an imperial system? So if you go here to manage uh, project units and let's switch from centimeters to maybe uh, fractional inches, uh, click OK, OK again. Now here we have this dimension and if I select the door, the door is still in millimeters. So this can prove quite annoying. So let's see how can we edit this. So for any family, uh, when you go here to insert and then load family, for any family, you can load it either from the US metric library, or if I flip back, uh, you can load it from the US imperial library. So if you go with the imperial library, all of the elements that you load in will have uh, the units in imperial values. So if I decide to load in some furniture, let's open that up. Here we have maybe, I don't know, a storage element. Uh, let's go with this shelving, for example. If I click open and go to architecture, go to component, you will notice that the uh, values are now in inches and uh, not uh, metric units. Uh, so when it comes to uh, families, uh, when you load them in, make sure you're loading them in from a correct, uh, just just a, a correct folder. Now, uh, one thing that's going to make it a lot easier uh, for you is to set up the correct template for your project. So you can either have a metric template as I started off over here. And that's why all of the units, for example, if I go to walls, as you can see, all of the walls have metric units. Uh, same thing goes here with the doors. All of the doors are metric and all of the windows are metric and so on and so forth. Now, if I uh, created a project with an imperial template, not only the units here would be imperial uh, units, but also all of the families would be so. So let's see how can we do that. Let me just uh, close out of this. Uh, I'm not going to save any changes. And here, when you go to new uh, for the template options, you only have these options. You don't really have the options for imperial units, but you do have the option to browse. Now, if I click there to browse, as you can see, this is the metric folder. So all of the templates here are metric. But if I go one folder back, we have the imperial folder and here I can load in perhaps the default project. Let's open that up, click OK. And as you can see now, if I go to walls, walls are all in inches. If I go back to windows, windows are in inches. Same thing goes for doors and any other family loaded in. Now, if you use uh, just imperial units and you want to set those up as your default, you would do so by uh, going here to the uh, Revit menu, go here to file, uh, go to options, and then here on options, we have the file locations. Now for file locations here, as you can see, you have the name and here are all of the templates. So we have the construction, the architectural, the structural and the mechanical. Those are the options that we got in the beginning. And then here on the other side, can I expand this menu? I guess I cannot. So here at the other side, we have the path. So for the path, for example, for the architectural template is this, and you can edit it by clicking on this button over here. It opens up the US metric library. So it's set to US metric, but you can always go a step uh, backward, go here to US Imperial, set it up to perhaps, I don't know, commercial default, open that up, Click OK. And now if I go here to file, uh, oops, let's go back here uh, to the start page, go to new, 
uh, and choose the architectural template when i click ok by default it's going to be set up to inches and even if i draw something over here as you can see we have feet and inches yet again so that's how it works that's how you set up all of your uh, project units properly in Revit okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you want to uh, maybe take a look at some of the more advanced courses that I have created check out my patreon first link in the description I've got over 50 hours of advanced Revit courses where I cover numerous Revit topics in depth and detail also there you can find all of my Revit project files okay so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, tutorial Tutorial, check that uh, first link in the description and I'll be back uh, in a few days with another tutorial so make sure to subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments and suggestions uh, just leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day